So we want to take over another texture particle. And in this case, we got grass we can work with. Now there's a couple different elements going on with grass. You got smoke, or dust rather, and you got the grass shavings. So what you have to first do is you got to find out which particle the grass blades are. And uh, some of these are labeled, but most of them are not. So in order to find out which one's which, like this is leaves, to find out which one's which, you got to go into the particles folder which this is normally in the game install if you go to where your game is installed it is in this file here game engine.zip extract this onto your desktop and then inside of it once it's done Search for ground model. No, I'm sorry. Search for particles. And you will find the folder for particles. Copy this folder. And then in your level. In the art folder. In the shapes folder paste that particles folder once you've done that you can open that folder and you can go to manage edit particle data and particle emitter I'm going to use the uh, this one first and what this will show you is it'll tell you down here uh, which particle which emitters using which particle see like this is BNGP number one and if you go back to the game number one is in fact sparks sparks now what we have to do is we have to find the one for grass. Dust underscore grass underscore splinter. I'm not sure if that's a splinter of grass or a splinter of wood. But this one does say dust grass. mud glass break there's grass just grass I bet that's it so number 21 is grass so we go to number 21 and there's the grass that we're looking for now this is what we're going to make into ice shavings uh, never ever save emitter to its file then it'll overwrite the game engines uh, zip file you don't want to do that then they won't accept your level because you've modified the game's particles in the core but it wouldn't matter even if you shared your level it the other person's default install would override your changes so you would just be doing it and you'd be wasting your time doing it that way anyway. So this way it saves to your level. So if you pack your level, these changes take place. Now this grass has a particle. This grass emitter has a particle and it's BNG grass, which one I just showed you. Um, let me move, let me paint the wall back there white so we can kind of see what we oh, It's hard to see with that. Let's go back to that particle emitter. Let 
now I don't damn see it. It's just lovely. This is one of these damn times you gotta reload the damn game probably. No, okay, we got it back. Alright. So that's the emitter and that's the particle. The texture for that particle is particle grass dot something something something. So if you want to look at the particle, uh, there it is. Uh, so what I want to do is just make little ice chunks, basically. And it's like a small map too. It's like this one's only like uh, 256 by 256. There's also a particle grass with dust combination. And there's another particle grass, which, no, that says glass. I can't see. All right, so this is the one we're going to just kind of make something in the photo editor real fast. Uh, I don't exactly know what I'm going to make yet, but just as a preview, kind of, uh, I'll make mine. Uh, I'll make mine 512 by 512 instead of 256. Now, the first thing is right click and tell it to have an alpha channel, and everything you delete will be transparency behind your uh, object. And like I said, I just want to have some kind of like ice shard looking splinters kind of shooting off in different directions. I really don't know. I haven't really thought much into how I would do it. Uh, rather than just like making a couple little things like this and having them be like the color of like a, you know, ice kind of like a blue color. And have some of them rotated in different angles so like they get ejected from the uh, tire you got different little specks of different sizes now this probably is not going to look right or look good it, there's no telling how this is going to look uh, And I'm not sure if this uses an alpha clip or if it uses a different kind of blend as far as uh, getting rid of uh, uh, the, like if I use like a 50% blend of a paintbrush, will it show that or is it on the alpha clip where it's either all or nothing? That's what I'm wondering. I guess we'll find out. So now I'm going to just give it a little shadow or try to give it a little shadow like around I need a need a smoother feather see kind of something like you know something kind of like that and then maybe in the middle it needs to be a little wider so that's kind of like what I was had and kind of had in mind for like a little ice particle kind of deal but I don't know. We'll save it and see. We'll export it as, and I'll just stick it in that folder that we were just in. Art, shapes, particles. I could just, for simplicity, I could just overwrite the damn grass in here and save a lot of time, which is probably what I'll do. Because I'm not going to have grass on my level. That says glass. So that's the little dust that came up. I can overwrite that one. And VC3, if it's got transparencies, now I'll overwrite the grass blade 
And I could have made my own texture and just imported it in. Uh, through the editor. So that's the regular grass there. So we'll replace that one. Back to the game. And that is not showing our new particle. Let's go to manually point to it, which is all it means is probably pulling out of the install folder because we ain't loaded the game yet with these new settings. So it's probably pulling this from the core install zip file at the moment until you redirect it to the new one you just saved in your folder. Uh, so that's what I'm doing now grass particle and see now we get the new shape save you do hit this save because this is in the particle here you're saving that particle see now it is looking in the outruns folder for that now, which one is the grass dust? Grass dust is the other one that I saw earlier. That is number 11, dust grass. So we have changed number 21. Now we just need to save emitter to current file. Now we go to the other one, which is 11. It's not there. Where is it? So that's the dust grass, which we need to tell the particle to load the new dust grass that is in our level levels. shapes particles dust grass where are you at dust gravel dust 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 There it is. Damn, I can't see. Save. And then save emitter. Now this should, if I save my level, should write all that. So, basically now if I drive grass, just grass too. Now this grass, if you open in a material library, now this is only for PBR 1. Point, I mean, this is not for PBR 1.5. This is for older maps that use just four colors for the terrain paints. You will see ground model grass too. Uh, so what I would do next is I would replace grass twos textures with an ice texture so it may look like grass here but once I change it it'll now look like ice and if I get up close to the car and just pretend all this is ice flying around instead of little uh, grass blades and like I said that was just the first attempt to make it I'm not sure that that's going to be what I uh, leave it as I need to tweak it a little bit more to change the texture itself, but that's just using the uh, the default grass just with a different texture. You could though pick that uh, material, I mean a material that particle again, and uh, you could modify the emitter 
which the emitter is, I said was number, shit, number 21? Yeah, number 21. The ejection period in milliseconds. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of different things you can change. I'm not getting into all that. That's a lot of stuff to get into. But there's a lot of different things you can change in there for the actual emitter. Just be sure never to change, save the emitter to its file. Now, if you're in the particle, you can save it to here. That's fine. But so now the next step, make that a actual ice texture. Well, let's just look at the ice that I already have that I like. Okay, let's just change it to this. So we'll go to grass and we'll load uh, in the material library editor thingy here. We'll change the diffuse to the one I got for the ice. Which I think it's in decals, 2K. No, it's not, is it in here? Ice decal. So the diffuse is more or less a gray map. I'm not even sure what one I used for that. Let me look. That is using 2K Snow, Snow Diffuse 2, 2K Decals, Ice Decal 2, 2K Snow, Snow Diffuse 2, Snow Normal. Okay. I don't need that normal map. I don't know why I put that, because that doesn't look right on that ice. That's for snow. That is probably an oversight. So now we'll load the... I just happen to have two different folders with different things and different ones. I would think a normal map should be something like cracked, cracked looking lines and whatnot like fractures and stuff which I thought I made that already that definitely is not it I may not have it now stick that on there save oh yeah size I gotta get the size right it was 16.3 16 16.3 10 200 16.3 10 200 all right what is the other two 55 100.05 No, 0.55, 100. Yeah, I'm not sure that really. You know what I did to make my ice look better? I had to actually make a decal that 
has a cube map reflective surface, which I paint. I paint the actual ice under it. I don't get me wrong. I do paint it under it. I just for the actual uh, illusion, I use like ice patch, and that gives it a different look. Oops, wrong one. Uh, it's here and here. So you can see, and because I did the way I did the decal with half opacity, I can I can make some of it look like it's uh, partially snow. like all ice, not snow and ice, just all ice. And see now if we test this. Uh, we What we have to do now is link ice to grass too but then we got to change something in it gets confusing because you don't want it to have the surface property of grass too you want it to have or you got to change grass two's properties basically That's what you got to do and the way you'd have to do that, you'd have to get Grass 2 out of the game's install folder, which is in that extracted game engine, art, shapes, particles. No, not there. I'm thinking of the other damn thing. Search ground model. Dot JSON, and you'll find the ground models. Now, this is the one, if you open it, you have to find grass too in here. Let me just search for it. Alright, so this grass is the these aliases here basically means anything using this alias. Uh, like in here, the name Grass 2, um, that's an alias. I believe that's the aliases. So what I could do, I could just copy this to the clipboard, and then I could go into uh, my level, and you also have to have, uh, in your level, you have to have that folder of ground models. And what you call this JSON doesn't matter. Uh, these are the ones that the game will use priority over the install folder. So here I will paste the one that I copied from the clipboard. And I will modify it to mimic ice which these are the values for ice I'll just take their stuff and override it with the ice instead of grass now these other settings for their grass uh, well ice doesn't use all that collision type grass yeah, it's going to think it's grass, but it's really not going to be grass. It's actually going to be ice. But I'm not going to let it know any different. I'm just going to copy this. 
actually not that one. I need to copy. Oh no, this is all good. This is all right. So save file. Wait a minute. We don't need that. We don't need those. Yeah, we can get rid of those. Save file. Now we need to reload our level. I don't think it's going to work. Just yet. But it may be working now. Some things update dynamically and some things don't. Let's just reload to be on the safe side. We'll save our level. We'll exit out of the editor, get out of the game. Just reload the whole game. See, this is a snow track. It's not going to have grass that I need to worry about. Well, there's no grass shavings anymore. Well, that's fine. There's not going to be grass anyway on it. I just want a new particle, so I have a different effect when I'm driving on, like, ice or snow. So I already did the snow one. I think it was one of the dusts for dirt road, dirt loose. Or no, I used gravel. I used gravel wet. I used the uh, gravel being flung from, uh, 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 that's what I used for my snow one. There's not going to be gravel on this track either. So. Now, do we have a slick surface for its eyes? And does that particle shoot off eyes? That's the question. Oh, I don't see anything. No particle. So this is the original eye. This isn't the new one. The new one is now called Grass 2. I should just call this Ice Particle. But now if I paint this with the Ice Particle, I should Ice Ice particle. I like grass. That's it. It's far gone now. Let's, uh, let's just paint this little section here real quick. So yeah, it's I guess that's eyes. Yeah, you gonna slide like that on grass. So we got two particles now. And if you want, you can take the extra particle you just made and you can throw it up on something like this waterfall and have another nice little particle to add to your level. Particle emitter, remember, that was like number 21. And a number 11. So what you could do is something like this. If the wind's blowing it, uh, so I'm just going to kind of angle it. So it's kind of spitting out of this waterfall. And like I said, it's going to be kind of iffy with the wind. You don't know where the wind's going. Or I don't want it shooting out that much. may not be the best particle to do this with. Yeah, because it doesn't bloom out. It stays in a, like a water sticket kind of line of water. It's not really going to give you the kind of, like, that's not really going to work. <laughs> not like the other one does. This kind of blooms out a little more as it goes. It's 
that can be adjusted. I think that's the fill reference of not mistaken, but I could be wrong. But now we got two different types of snow. Well, we got snow and we got um, ice particles now. So this would be the snow one and this would be the ice particle one. So I probably will go back and probably change the snow so that the snow doesn't have also have that dust in it. It wasn't something I was thinking about at the time. But now I am. So it's really weird to have dust like that. Yeah, that'll be the next one I'll figure out. I'll figure out which one that is.